your services should be all about you. If you receive services from a provider, organization, or staff, your services should be person-centered. This means your services should be based on your hopes, goals, and dreams. That is, what's important to you. You need to be happy with the services that you are getting. You should be the driving force behind your services. If you're not, you need to speak up. This video talks about what your services should do for you and some of the ways you can figure out what types of services you want. All people have rights. Some rights you have because you're human. Some rights you have because you live in this country. Some rights you have because you have a disability. And some rights you have because you receive services. Basically, you have the right to a lot of different rights. When it comes to your rights for your services, you have the right to be safe and healthy. You have the right to privacy. You have the right to dignity and respect. You have the right to choice and many other rights. If trying to figure out which of your rights are respected, it may be helpful to think about these questions as examples. Do people listen when you speak up for yourself? Are you able to have personal space and alone time? Are you able to come and go in your home as you please? Are you able to have visitors where you live? If you answered no to any of these questions, it may be helpful to think about what changes should be made to your services so that your rights are respected. To fully exercise your rights, you need choices. Choice means that you can select the services and supports that you need and want. Examples of choices include who provides your services, where to live, where to work, what to do for fun, what friends to hang out with, what you want your future to look like, and many more. Your services should provide you with choices. If trying to figure out if you have choices, it may be helpful to think about these questions. Did you choose the services you receive and where they're provided? Did you choose who provides your services? Did you choose where you live? Did you choose who you live with? If you answered no to any of these questions, it may be helpful to think about what changes you would like to make to your services so that they allow you to make these and other choices. Independence means that you are in charge of making decisions about your life. For example, you should be able to choose what you do during the day. You should be able to choose where you go and you should be able to choose who you interact with. If trying to figure out if you have independence, it may be helpful to think about these questions. Do you have a chance to make decisions about your life and what you want to do? Do you choose what you do for fun? Are you able to choose your own schedule? Do you choose how to spend your money? If you answered no to any of these questions, it may be helpful to think about what changes should be made so the services you receive promote your independence. You have the right to community integration. Access to the community means you are an included member of your neighborhood and community. For example, you should be able to participate in local activities and events, receive services in your community, run errands and go shopping, have a job in the community, and many more. If trying to figure out if you're integrated into your community, it may be helpful to think about these questions. Do you spend time in places where other people living in your community go? Do your service providers support you to do what you want to do in your community? Do you get to do as much as you want in your community? Can you be in the community when you want to? If you answered no to any of these questions, it may be helpful to think about what changes should be made so the services you receive provide the opportunities you want to access and be part of your community. Like I said before, your services should be all about you, your rights, your choices, your independence, and your community integration. If your rights are not about you and you're not happy with your services, you need to speak up. It's your right. Your organization should know what's important to you and your services and supports should help you achieve your goals. If you're nervous about speaking up, you should talk to someone you trust about what you want and need. Another way to advocate for the services you want is by sharing your opinions with your case manager or support coordinator. Your ideas will help them make changes so your services are about what you want. 
If you feel that your rights aren't being respected, you should talk to the Human Rights Committee at your provider organization. In each state, there's also a disability rights protection and advocacy system, which can help people with disabilities with legal or advocacy support. Your services should be all about you. You have the right to make decisions about your services and speak up for yourself. As self-advocates say, nothing about us without us. This video was made by the IDD MLTSS Workgroup. You can find more resources like this on our website, c-q-l.org slash mltss. For more information about what we shared in this video, see HCBS Guide, Your Right to a Community Life, developed by the Bog Center on Developmental Disabilities at Rutgers University.